Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Ivan and in this video we are going to make a movie database application like IMDB where a user can search for a specific movie and can see the detail of that movie and our app will look something like this. I have already made that app. So here the user will input the name of the movie that he wants to search. So let's search for Avengers and click on go. It's searching for the movies and here it is here are the results uh, of some movies so let's click on the first one it's fetching the details and here is the details of the movie Avengers with the year release duration IMDb rating votes poster plot and all the cast and the technical details alright so let's start making our application so at first uh, let me tell you that we are going to fetch all the detail of the movies uh, from an API and for the API we are going to use this API uh, the IMDB Internet Movie Database Unofficial this is from rapidapi.com I'll give the link of this uh, API in the description from there you can visit that and then you will be able to see the endpoints uh, as you can see here are two endpoints here one is the search and other one is for the film both are the uh, both are with the get method okay so let's click on the first one search all right and here as you can see we have this code snippets tab and here is our api url and all the parameters and headers that we need to pass okay uh, so at first let's see that uh, for the headers we have to pass the x rapid api host which is already given here this is the app id and then we have to pass another object which is x rapid api key and for that key we have to sign up first uh, so this api is completely free but we have to log in to get the api key so for this i'll just click on this test endpoint and that will take me to the login wizard i guess yes so let me just quickly sign up with my google account Alright, so my sign up is now complete and it took me back to this screen now and now we have this API key here. Okay, so we got the keys and now let's test our API endpoints and for testing the endpoints we are going to use Postman, this one. So if you don't have Postman in your PC, then don't worry. I'll give the download link of Postman in the description. From there, you can download that. And after downloading and installing that, we'll create a new window here. And at here, we have to paste the URL that we want to send or test. So uh, at first, we are going to use the uh, search API because for the film, we have to pass the film ID. As you can see here, rapidapi.com slash film slash ID. This is the film ID for a specific film that we want to get the all the data for. Okay, so at first we're going to we're going with the search. So from here I'll just copy the URL. I'll copy the whole URL and I'll go back to Postman and here I'll paste that. And as you can see, this is the URL of our API this is the query that we are doing and this is the uh, name of that movie that we that we are looking for okay so let's click on send here with setting this as a get method and we won't get anything I guess okay invalid API key okay we are getting this error because we have to pass the headers as described here so let's set up our headers so for this at first I'll copy this uh, X rapid API host from here and I'll go back to our postman and here I'll go into this headers tab and here for the key I'll paste that okay we have another key uh, so that is the X rapid API key I'll just copy this again and go back to our postman and we'll add this as another key okay so now we have to pass the values for uh, both of these keys so for this i'll go again here and for the x rapid api host we have this uh, key here 
I'll just copy this and go back to postman paste it here under these values and again I'll copy the API key from here go back to postman and I'll paste it here under the value for the XRapid API key okay so if we see here we only need to pass the headers and the method should be get nothing else okay so here the method is get and we have added the headers here and now we can click on send and as you can see we got all the responses uh, for the movie name inception okay so on the response we have uh, three objects if I minimize that you can see uh, these are the titles the names and the companies okay so under the titles we have a list of objects and each of the objects have three uh, objects inside one is the title of the movie second one is the image for that particular movie and third one is the ID of that image okay so let's uh, search for Avengers here for testing I'll write Avengers and click on send so here we got the responses for the movie Avengers okay so our search API is working fine and if we want to test for the uh, API uh, film we can also do that uh, let's do that later okay at first we are going to integrate the search API all right so for this we have to go to our Android studio and as you can see here I have already opened a new project called movie DB and here we have the default activity the main activity and the XML file for that alright so now we will start our coding and as we are working with API's uh, to handle the API calls we are going to use the library retrofit okay so let's uh, get the dependencies for the retrofit so I'll go here and here we have the uh, github repository of retrofit where we'll get the dependency for retrofit so here is that i have to just copy this and don't worry i'll give all the links uh, that i am using in the description so make sure to check that so I, so from here i have just copied this uh, retrofit dependency and i'll go back to my android studio and here inside the gradle scripts i'll go inside this build gradle uh, which is the module level gradle file and inside here i'll go inside these dependencies and here i'll paste the dependency okay so i will write implementation and here i'll add a quotation and inside this quotation i'll paste that dependency the com dot square up dot retrofit 2 and the version okay so retrofit dependency is now done and we have to copy another one which is for the JSON for retrofit so I'll go here and copy the uh, okay I'll copy the uh, dependency for JSON converter for retrofit and I'll go back to the Android studio again and here under this I'll paste that and as you can see here it's suggesting to add the latest version here so for the latest version I'll just put this uh, latest version of retrofit 2.9.0 I'll paste it here alright and thirdly we need another uh, dependency which is for the Picasso library because we are going to load the uh, movie images from the API so for this we need that so I'm going to uh, I'm going here and I'll copy the dependency and go back to Android studio and here I'll paste that okay so we have our uh, three dependencies here now we'll click on the sync now and wait until it's done so once it's done we can start our coding all right so uh, before getting started with the coding I'm going to create the model classes uh, for our responses from API so if I go into the postman again here as you can see on the response body of our uh, search API we will get three objects 
one is the title other one is the names and then we will get the companies okay and all of them have similar type of objects like for this uh, for the titles we will get an array list or a list which will uh, contain a object or some objects uh, which have a title image and id and if we go into the companies the companies uh, object also contains the same type of data the title image and id so we we can create a common object for each of these uh, arrays okay so let's create that uh, okay so at first i'll copy these titles and then i'll go to my android studio and here i'll create a new model class so for the models let me create a new package so here i'll write this as models hit enter and inside the models i'll create a new java class i'll call this as api uh, sorry let's be more specific so i'll write search api response hit enter so we created the class search api response so inside the search api response we will get these three objects so for the titles i'll just copy the name titles go back to android studio and here i'll create uh, let's uh, okay before that uh, let's create another uh, object for the response uh, for the uh, object of the array okay so i'll right click on the models again and create a new java class and i'll name this as uh, search array uh, object okay and insert this if we go into the postman again so insert the array we'll get these objects and uh, each of the objects have the uh, title image and id and all of them are string types as you can see so i'll copy the title from here and go back to android studio and here i'll create a new string i'll call this title i'll just paste the name from the postman so one thing you have to make sure is that you have to use the exact name of the response body from here or if you don't want to use the exact name then you have to use the serialized name okay uh, but my suggestion is that you can go with the api name uh, directly okay so we define the title let's initialize it with an empty string and then we have the image i'll just copy this again and here i'll name this as image and again we have the id so i'll just copy the id from here and i'll paste it here okay so here we got these three string objects and now i'll create a getter setter uh, for all of them so i'll click on so i'll just right click here and I'll click on generate click on getter and setter i'll select all these three and click on okay so here we got all the getter and setter objects for this objects here all right so now we can close this and we can go again inside the search api response so now we have created the uh, array objects so now we can just simply create uh, objects for that particular uh, search array object so i'll just create a list of uh, search array object search array object and from postman the first one was titles so i'll just copy this go back to android studio paste it here equals null i'll copy this two more times and here the second object is called names so i'll just copy this go back to android studio paste the names here and the third one was the companies so I'll just copy this go back to android studio and paste it here okay so we got these three objects for our search api response and all of them are list as you can see uh, this is a list and inside this we have these two objects 
okay uh, so now we can also create a getter setter for this so I'll click on generate click on getter and setter okay so here are the getter and setter objects uh, so let's close that so we got the models for our search API response and now uh, we are going to write some codes to manage our API call so let's uh, don't write our API handling codes here in the main activity for this we'll create a separate class so I'll just uh, right click on here create a new Java class I'll call this as request manager hit enter and inside this request manager I'll create uh, a context object context I'll call this context then we'll initialize our retrofit so I'll write uh, retrofit I'll call this retrofit equals new retrofit dot builder and then I'll write dot uh, base URL and here we have to pass the base URL of the API so again go to postman and here the base URL for our API is this part okay so I'll just copy this go back to my Android studio and inside the base URL I'll paste that okay and then go to the new line and I'll write dot uh, add converter factory and here I'll create a new JSON converter factory so I'll write uh, JSON converter factory dot create all right and then we'll just uh, build our retrofit okay semicolon here all right so these are the two objects of our request manager and then we'll create a constructor for our request manager class so I'll right click here click on generate click on constructor and I'll only select the context here I won't select the retrofit okay and I'll click on okay so here we got the constructor and now we'll create a new interface uh, to call our API so to create the interface I'll write uh, a public interface and I'll name this as uh, get movies all right and inside the body we will define all the headers and the endpoints queries of our API so at first let's configure our header so at first let me zoom in so that you can see more clearly okay so here I'll give an annotation at the rate headers okay and inside the headers I'll create uh, or add a second bracket and inside here we'll uh, pass all the headers that we need so at first by default we have to pass the accepts application JSON here so I'll create a double quotation here and I'll write accept colon application slash JSON all right and then we'll pass uh, the other values that we need so for this I'll create another double quotation and inside here at first we have to pass the key then with a colon we have to pass the uh, value for that key so let's go to the uh, postman again and here I'll just copy the X rapid API host from here go back to Android studio and I'll paste it here add a colon next to it and after a space I'll just uh, pass the value okay so I'll just copy this from here and I'll paste it here okay similarly I'll add another comma and I'll do the same for the X rapid API key okay copy the key paste it here with a colon I'll pass the API key value here all right so here we got all the uh, informations for the headers and now after this header we'll define our uh, method so here I'll write at the red get because our uh, request method is a get method and here in the parameter of the get we'll pass our endpoint of our URL so if we go into our postman here 
uh, this part was our base URL and uh, the rest would be our endpoint okay uh, so I'll just copy this and go back to our Android Studio I'll paste it here and here as you know we won't always pass Avengers as our uh, search query uh, we'll change it or get it from the user as an input so for this I'm uh, I'll just remove this and add a placeholder here uh, so here I'll write uh, movie underscore name and we'll define this movie underscore name object in the method parameter so that we can get that from the user and replace it every time so now here under uh, the get annotation we'll create a new call object so I'll write this as uh, call and we'll call for the uh, search API response so I'll write uh, search API response and I'll call this method as uh, call uh, movies okay and here in the methods uh, parameter we'll uh, just simply send the uh, or replace the uh, path movie name with the uh, uh, with the value that the user provides with the parameter so here I'll just write at the red path and I'll replace it with the movie name from here and then I'll uh, replace it with the string that we'll get so I'll add string movie name all right and under here we have to put a semicolon all right so our interface is now done so what that will do is every time we will call this it will uh, send the movie name as the parameter and it, it will replace the movie name uh, and add it to the uh, URL and so that we will get the uh, response for this specific movie name that we passed with the parameter okay so now let's create a method to access this interface so for this I'll go here and create a new method so I'll call this method as uh, a public void method of I'll call this as uh, let's call this as uh, search movies and here for the parameter we'll pass a listener so that we can uh, retrieve or receive the response on our main activity and we'll also pass the string movie name uh, which we'll get from the user from the main activity okay so let's at first create the listener so for the listener let's create another new package here i'll call this as listeners and inside the listeners i'll create a new java class i'll call this as on search api uh, api listener okay and we'll select that as an interface and click on enter okay so here we got the uh, on search api listener and inside here we'll create a new method void uh, on response okay and for the on response we'll pass the search api response object so i'll write search api response i'll call this as response okay all right so after that we will create another method for the error handling so i'll write on error and here we'll simply send a message string message so now we can go back to the request manager uh, request manager all right so inside the search movies parameter we'll call this on search api listener that we just created so on search api listener i'll call this as listener and then we'll get a string of the movie name so i'll write a string uh, movie underscore name all right and then we'll create the uh, body of that method so for the body 
uh, let's call our interface get movies here so I'll write get movies I'll call this as uh, get movies equals retrofit dot create and here I'll pass the get movies class so I'll write get movies dot class all right and then we'll also define a new call object so I'll write uh, call for API sorry search API response search API response I'll name this as call equals I will call this object get movies get movies uh, dot uh, call movies all right and here for the parameter for call movies we have to pass the movie name that we will get from the methods a parameter so I'll write movie name here all right so now under here we will uh, handle the response so for this we will write call dot nq and here we will create a new callback so I'll write a new callback for search api response and here we got this methods the on response and the on failure okay so at first let's work on the on response so here we'll check if the response uh, that we got from here here the response dot is successful we'll add a not sign here so we're checking here if the response is not successful so if it is not successful then we'll just show a toast message uh, we'll pass the context here and for the text I'll pass uh, couldn't fetch data all right so this is the toast message for the uh, when the API response is not successful and we'll just return from here okay so we will like return okay so then after this uh, if statement we will call our listener so the uh, code will come here only if the response is successful so if it is not successful it, it will just show the toast message and we'll go from here if it's successful then it will go into this line okay so listener dot uh, on response and here for the on response parameter as we have defined here we we have to pass the search api response object so for this we'll just simply pass the response dot uh, body all right that's it for the on response now let's go to the on failure and inside the on failure uh, we can call the listener dot uh, on error and here we can pass a string we can type a string like a request failed or we can also get the uh, string from this throwable so I'll just write t dot get message okay uh, all right so that's it for our um, uh, search movies API handling API response handling and now we'll go our main activity and start the UI design to get the input from the user and search the API and show the data okay so I'll just go to activity main.xml file here I'll go to this split view and inside here I'll just uh, remove this constraint layout and I'll create a new linear layout all right and here I'll remove this uh, text view let me zoom in here so that you can see more closely or clearly okay and now let's define another color object inside our this folder I'll go into the values into the colors and here I'll just uh, create another color I'll call this as yellow and I'll change the color code or you can also click on this uh, color icon here and from here you can choose one let's select this one okay and then let's go to our activity main.xml so here I'll just uh, give the background color of this linear layout to color black 
all right and then inside this i'll create um another linear layout okay no we'll just create a simply a card view here okay so for the width of the card view i'll pass match parent and for the height i'll pass wrap content here and let's give some more attributes to this card view i'll uh, give this a margin of let's say 8 dp and i'll change the card corner radius to 8 dp also and i'll set a card elevation of 8 dp and let's set the card background color to color yellow that we just created okay and then inside this card view we will create a new uh, search view so so here i'll write uh, search view the android x dot app compact search view and remember that we are using the android x search view here we will need this in our uh, main activity dot java file also so android x search view i will set the width as uh, match parent and the height as uh, let's give this the height of the action bar size so i'll write question mark attr attribute slash uh, action bar size so that will get the default uh, or the size of the default action bar okay i'm giving this the closing tag okay we'll give the search view an id here i'll call this as uh, search underscore view let's add another attribute called iconified by default to false so that the uh, search view uh, sets selected by default so i'll write iconified by default to false here okay and then under this i'll set the hint here or the query hint and here i'll write um, search movies dot 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 okay uh, we can also give a padding to our search view so let's give this a uh, overall padding of uh, let's say 4 dp i guess we can also pass 8 dp let's see how it looks okay 8 dp is not bad all right so our search view is now done we can minimize this card view here and under this card view we will create another card view and we will set the width as match parent the height as our wrap content here we'll close this and also add some attributes like the uh, card background color to color yellow card elevation to 8 dp card corner radius to 8 dp okay so these it these are the default uh, attributes for the card view uh, okay and let's not close this in this way okay so now inside this uh, card view tag we will create a new recycler view so let's create that and create a new recycler view the android x dot recycler view dot widget i'll set its width as match parent and the height as wrap content here i'll close this tag and i'll give this recycler view also an id i'll call this as recycler uh, underscore view underscore uh, uh, let's say home okay so as you can see we can't see our recycler view here because we forgot to add the orientation here that's why it's showing an error so we'll just go inside the parent layout or the parent linear layout tag and under here i will set the orientation as vertical okay so here we got the recycler view so let's put a margin for this recycler view also uh, so we have to put the margin for the card view here so I'll write uh, margin 8 dp okay so now it looks better okay let's give a padding inside our recycler view also not padding actually margin margin of 8 dp okay much better so our uh, activity main.xml is now done now we can go to our main activity java here and here we'll uh, define the views that we created in our activity main.xml file 
so at first we created this uh, search view so I'll just copy the ID from here um, and here I'll create a new search view search view so here uh, as I've told you earlier that we are using the search view of Android exit app compat and here we got both uh, the Android exit app compat and Android dot widget okay so as we have used the android exit app compatible widget in the xml file so we have to use the same class in our main editor java also all right and i'll just paste this here and similarly we'll create another object for the recycler view and the id we gave was recycler underscore view underscore home I'm just copying and using this ID as the object name because uh, that is convenient to me. You can use different names. So here we got these two objects. Now I'll go under this on create method and um, initialize them. So at first I'll just use the search view. So search view equals find view by ID r dot id dot uh, search view. And similarly for the recycler view home recycler view home equals find view by ID r dot ID dot recycler view home okay uh, so now uh, let's create a custom layout for our recycler view so for this at first we have to create a layout file so I'll go here inside the rest folders inside this layout and I'll right click on the layout and create a new layout resource file. I'll call this as um, home movies list. Okay. And we'll hit enter or click on this OK button. So here we got the home movies list.xml. I'll go to split view. And here I'll remove this. Uh, constraint layout and I'll write a card view here Android X dot card view and here I'll just simply change the height to wrap content here and then I'll add some more attributes like the uh, card elevation to 8 dp the card corner radius to 8 dp and the card background color uh, this time let's use the card background color as black okay and we can also give this a margin of 8 dp again here okay so now what we are going to do here is we'll give this card view an id also we'll need that to create on click listener for the uh, recycler view items so here i'll call this as home uh, container okay and then uh, inside this card view tag we'll create a new linear layout inside our card view so I'll set the linear layouts width as match parent and the height as wrap content here and I'll also set the orientation for this linear layout uh, to vertical and inside this linear layout I'll create a new image view I'll call this uh, I'll set the width of this uh, image view to match parent and I'll set the height of this image view to let's say 200 dp all right let's close this tag and I'll give this image view an ID also I'll call this as uh, image view underscore uh, poster okay and then let's set the uh, scale type of our image view to be a uh, center crop that will perfectly fit our image inside our image view and then under this image view we'll create a new text view for showing the movie name so here i'll write uh, text view i'll set the width as match parent and the height as wrap content here i'll close that and inside the text view will give this an id of text view underscore underscore movie 
okay and then after this uh, id i'll set a default text to see how it looks so i'll set the text as let's say movie name and i'll set the text color to be color white here okay let's give this a padding of 8 dp okay a text size of let's say 20 sp all right and then the uh, text style let's change this to bold and also let's change the text alignment to be centered here so now we are going to add some attributes to make this uh, text inside this text view scroll horizontally because in case the movie name is larger then uh, we won't be showing this movie name in multiple lines because that would look weird so for this at first i'll write here a single line to true and then i'll set the ellipse size to marquee and then i'll write the marquee repeat limit to marquee forever oops marquee forever and then i'll write scroll horizontally to true okay so that's it for our custom layout for recycler view we can close that and let's close the others also okay so now we we have to create a view uh, a view holder and adapter for our recycler view so for this i'll go here let's create a new package here i'll call this as adapters so inside these adapters i'll create a new java class i'll call this as home recycler adapter hit enter and here let me zoom in and before we start with the recycler adapter we have to create a view holder so to create the view holder i'll create a separate class here i'll call this as home view holder and uh, i'll make this class extends recycler view dot view holder it shows an error because we have to create constructor matching super so let's click on that and here we got the constructor now up here we have to define the uh, view objects that we uh, that we created on our home movies list.xml file okay so here we got only um, an image view and then text and a text view so i'll just copy the id of that image view underscore poster i'll go to our home recycler adapter inside this home view holder i'll create a new image view object i'll call this object as image view poster similarly for a uh, text view i'll just simply copy this id here text view movie I'll paste it here now we have to initialize them inside this uh, constructor so I'll go after this super item view and here I'll set the image view poster equals item view dot uh, find view by ID r dot ID dot the ID of the image view so it's showing an error because we have to import the class so I'll hit on the alt enter okay add the semicolon here and similarly for the text view movie also the text view movie equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view underscore movie okay so our views are now initialized wait a minute we also had the uh, home container here for the card view we'll just copy this copy the id of this card view and i'll go back again to the home reseller adapter and here i'll create a new object for the card view i'll paste it and for the card view here the home container equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot home container all right so our view holder is now ready 
we can minimize this and we have to extend this class in our uh, home recycler adapter as the view holder for our recycler adapter okay so here on the class home recycler adapter i make this extends recycler view dot adapter and for with the adapter we have to pass a, a view holder also so for the view holder i'll pass home view holder okay so now it's showing an error because we have to implement these methods so I'll click on implement methods we'll select all of these three and click on ok so here we got the methods all right and i'm going to minimize this just okay so here at first uh, let's create some objects for our recycler adapter so at first we'll get the context and then we'll get the list of objects that we want to show in the recycler view so i'll call the list of so in this uh, video we are going to show the movie titles in the recycler view so for this i'll call uh, inside the model we'll call the search array object we'll call a list of search array object okay so here a list of uh, search array object i'll call this as uh, list all right and then we can also create a on click listener for our recycler view uh, let's quickly create this now so here i'll create a new listener again i'll right click on the listeners create a new a new what uh, java class okay and i'll call this as on movie click listener okay and we'll uh, go with the interface here and inside this public interface on movie click listener we'll create a new method uh, void on movie click and if someone clicks on the movie then we'll just pass the id of that movie so i'll write a string id all right so mainly we're doing this because uh, whenever a user will click on the movie uh, from the list we'll we'll launch a new activity and we'll pass the movie id to that activity and the new activity will load the data from the api with this particular id all right so let's close this and here let's create a object for this on movie click listener so right on movie click listener i'll call this as listener okay so now under this we'll create a constructor so i'll click on generate constructor i'll select all of them hit enter and here we got the constructor okay we can minimize this and now we'll go inside this um, on create view holder and here we'll create a new home view holder I'll pass the layout inflator dot from I'll pass the context here dot inflate and here we'll pass the layout name uh, which we created for this recycler view which is this one the home underscore movies underscore list so I'll write r dot layout dot home underscore movies underscore list this one then I'll add a comma and for the second parameter we will pass the parent that we got from here parent and the third parameter will pass false okay so our on create view holder is done now we can go to our on bind view holder so inside our on bind view holder we will show the image and the movie name inside the uh, image view and the text view of the uh, recycler view custom layout okay so for this i'll write um, holder dot text view movie dot set text and here we'll pass the movie name from the list item so i'll write list dot get from 
position the position we are getting is from here position dot get title okay so that will show the movie name inside the uh, text view movie okay so now we also need to load the movie image or the movie poster in our recycler view so for uh, showing that we will use the picasso library so if you haven't uh, added the picasso libraries dependency in your drill you can do it i'll give the link in the description okay so here i'll write at first picasso dot get dot load and here for the url i again call the list dot get from position dot get image okay so that will load the url from this object the get image and then we have to pass the target uh, and for the target we will pass the image view um, where we want to show that image or load that image so i'll write uh, dot into and here we'll pass the holder dot image view poster all right that's it and now on the get item count instead of returning zero we'll return list dot size okay and now let's go to our main activity dot java here let me zoom in here and here at top let's create a object for our home recycler adapter so i'll write home recycler adapter i'll call this as adapter okay and now inside this on create uh, let's do one thing let's actually initialize or create a uh, on query listener for our search view so i'll write uh, search view dot set on query text listener new search view dot on query text listener okay so here we got these two methods the on query text submit and on query text change we won't do anything inside this on query text change we'll mainly work on the on query text submit here okay so at first we'll change this return false to return true and before that we'll call our api okay so to call the api at first we have to create the um, object of the request manager so let's define our request manager here i'll call request manager i'll call this as manager and I'll initialize it up here uh, manager equals new request manager and here at first we have to pass the context okay so our request manager object is now initialized so now what we want to do here is whenever the user types something on the search view and clicks on submit it will uh, search for that particular string within the api and fetch the results so in order to call the um, search movies api uh, we define the method inside our request manager that uh, for the search movies we have to pass a listener and the string for the movie name okay so let's go back to main activity here we will get the movie name from the query that the user typed on the search view but for the listener we have to create one so let's create a listener outside of our on create method so i'll go just outside of this uh, bracket of the on create view or on create method and here i'll create a new listener for the uh, on search api listener so here i'll create a private final on search api listener i'll call this as listener equals new on search api listener and here we have got the on response method and the on error method okay so for the on response method at first uh, we'll just um, check if the response is null or not so I'll just check if uh, 
the response equals equals null so if it is null then we'll just show a toast message uh, we'll pass the context as main activity dot this and for the text i will write no data uh, available okay and after that we'll just uh, go to the next line and we'll write return so it gets back from this uh, method okay so then if the response is not null then we'll just simply call a method called uh, show result where we'll pass the response okay and we haven't created the show result method yet so we'll just click on this and then we'll click on this red bulb here and we'll click on this create method show result and then we'll select this main activity so that will create the show result method right here okay so we'll work on this show result method later but before that let's handle the on error also so here on the on error we'll show a, a toast message with main activity dot this as context and i'll write uh, let's say an error occurred all right so after that as you can see here is an error because we have to add a semicolon here all right so now that we have created our listener now we'll uh, call the on search or the uh, search movies api so for this we have to write here inside the on query text submit while returning true we'll write a manager dot search movies and here for the first parameter we'll pass the listener that we created right here and for the second parameter which is the string movie name we'll pass this string query from here so this is mainly the text the user typed on the recycler view so i'll write uh, query okay so now it will call the api and it will search for this specific text that the user typed on the search view and we'll catch the data inside this listener and then we'll show that on the uh, show result method that we'll just define here all right so now let's uh, start working on showing the data but before that uh, i think if we use a progress dialog that would be much uh, better okay so here i'll create a new object of the progress dialog i'll call this as dialog okay and we'll initialize our dialog just here so that dialog equals a new progress dialog this and then let's do one thing when the user will search for something before calling the api we'll set our dialog dot set title and here i'll write fetching uh fetching no let's write please wait please uh wait all right and then we'll show the dialog so dialog dot show okay so whenever the user will click on the submit it will uh, start searching for the movies and it will show the progress dialog and once we receive the uh, response on this listener we'll just uh, dismiss this dialog so dialog dot dismiss we will do also the same for the on error so I'll write dialog dot dismiss all right so now inside the show result we'll uh, start adding the data to our recycler view so for this i'll at first write recycler view home dot uh, dot set has fixed size to true and then we'll set the um, layout for our recycler view so i'll write recycler view dot set uh, layout manager i'll call a new grid layout manager and here at first we have to pass the context so i'll write a main activity dot 
this and then for the second uh, parameter we have to pass this pan count so i'll pass two because we want to show two movies side by side uh, if you want to show three you can uh, pass here three no issues and then we'll um, create the adapter or initializer adapter that we just defined up here the home recycler adapter okay so i'll write adapter equals new uh, home recycler adapter and for the first parameter we have to pass the context so i'll pass this then for the second parameter we have to pass the list of search array object so i'll write response dot will show the titles only here if you want to show the names or the companies you can also do the same i'll pass the get titles here and for the third parameter we have to pass the listener uh, but before that we have to implement that listener to our uh, main class so here i'll go right here uh, let implements uh, on movie click listener it will show an error we'll click on this red bulb here click on implement methods select this one click on ok so here you got the on movie clicked and now for the after this response dot get titles we'll pass the listener and i'll write this okay add the semicolon here and then we have to add this adapter to our recycler view so i'll write recycler view home dot set adapter and we'll pass this adapter here adapter all right and now uh, for the on movie clicked whenever the user will click on a specific item we'll just show the id of that movie so at first let's show a toast message here with the main activity dot this as context and for the text i'll pass this id that we are getting from this parameter okay so that's it for the uh, main activity now let's try to run this if everything is fine it should work properly but before that one thing that i always forget we have to add the internet permission here most of the time i forget this and i end up with errors so use this permission android.permission.internet i'll close this with the closing tag all right so we have added the internet permission you also make sure to add that and then let's click on this run button to see how it works oops this one a few moments later okay it's installing all right so our app is now installed now if we click on this uh, search view and if we search for any uh, movie like let's search for avengers again avengers let's click on this uh, search icon here it's showing please wait and it got the movie movies from the api okay it looks nice so let's click on one of them let's click on this one nothing's happening okay uh, because uh, we forgot to add the listener uh, to our uh, adapter we added the toast message to our on movie clicked method in our main activity but because we forgot to add the listener to our recycler adapter that's why no toast is showing here so we have to go up here again inside our home recycler adapter and then inside this on bind view holder i'll go next to these lines and here i'll write holder dot uh, home container dot set on click listener uh, new view dot on click listener and here on the on click event i'll call the listener that we passed here if i show you here this on movie click listener object listener dot uh, on movie clicked and here we will pass the id so we will get the id from the list dot uh, 
get from position dot get id okay so now if we run the app as you can see our app is now installed and if we search again for avengers let's search for this and here are the responses now if we click on any of them it's showing the id let's click on the next one it's showing the id all right so our first part is now done which was to get the movies list from the api now we'll work on the uh, next part to show the movie data in the uh, new activity okay so let's start working on that so i'll just close all of them uh, except this main activity okay and i'll minimize them and now i'll create a new activity i'll just right click here create a new activity i'll select this empty activity i'll name it as uh, details activity and then i'll click on finish so now we got the details activity with the activity underscore detail dot xml file also okay so from the main activity instead of showing just this random toast message we'll just remove this and we'll start our detail activity from here so i'll write uh, start activity start activity i'll pass a new intent here and the intent will be from uh, main activity dot this to details activity dot class all right and then here i'll write uh, dot put extra as we want to pass this uh, id to the next activity so i'll write dot put extra and here for the name of the data i'll write uh, let's say data and for the value i'll pass this id that we got from the parameter so i'll write id okay so that will launch the new activity we can also check that by uh, clicking or running on this app again okay so our app is now installed let's search for again for avengers let's click on this one so it loaded on the uh, detail activity okay so now let's uh, start working on the activity details dot xml file go to split mode and here i'll remove this constraint layout i'll change this to a new linear layout here i'll change its background color to color black again and i'll also set the orientation of this linear layout to be vertical okay so now under this linear layout or inside this linear layout we'll create a new scroll view okay so for this scroll views uh width i'll pass match parent and for the height i'll pass wrap content here okay and inside this scroll view i'll create a new linear layout here linear layout of uh, width of match parent and height of wrap content and i'll set this uh, set a margin to our linear layout to 8 dp here all right and now i'll go inside this uh, linear layout and i'll okay let's remove this margin that won't be any helpful okay so inside this linear layout we actually have to give a orientation to vertical okay and then inside this linear layout i'll create a new text view text view i'd set the width as match parent and height as wrap content here and close this i'll give this text view an id i'll call this uh, text view movie underscore name i'll set a default text movie name i'll set the text uh, color here 
okay let's try doing one thing let's try to uh, put all this data in a card view so that it looks much beautiful or better so I'll create a new card view here I'll set the width as match parent height as wrap content here and then I'll just close this tag and inside this card view I'll add more attributes like the card background color to color let's say yellow and the card corner radius to 8 dp card elevation to 8 dp also all right and okay we, we shouldn't close it like this then inside this card view we have to create a linear layout linear layout match parent wrap content and i'll set the orientation of this to vertical and i'll just copy this text view that we created previously i'll cut this from here and paste it here okay so for the text color what i'll pass here is a color black all right and then i'll set the text uh, alignment to text start and then the text style to be bold and then the text size to be 20 sp let's actually change it to 24 sp that would be better okay so 24 sp done now let's give this a padding of 8 dp okay so now for the card view let's uh, give this a margin uh, so i'll give this a margin of 8 dp okay much better now so now i'll just copy this uh, text view copy this and paste it under this again and this time i'll change its uh, id to text view underscore movie underscore released and here let's not set any text uh, let's keep this text style to normal i'll change the uh, text size to be 18 sp okay that's it and similarly i'll copy this one more time this one I'll paste it here and this time i'll uh, say this as uh, movie run time and again let's keep everything as it is then under this we have to paste this again and this time i'll uh, say this as movie underscore rating and here for the text style i'll pass bold for the text size i'll again pass 24 sp here now all right and let's set the uh, text alignment where to be center and similarly i'll copy this one more time and this time i'll say text view underscore movie underscore uh, votes and i'll change this to 20 sp okay so our uh, first card view is now done we can minimize this from here okay and similarly we have to create another card view so i'll write a uh, card view i'll set the width as match parent height as wrap content here and i'll give this card view a margin of 8 dp a card background color of color yellow card elevation 8 dp card corner radius of 8 dp and then inside this card view let's create another linear layout i'll set this width to match parent height to wrap content here i'll set its orientation to vertical and inside this linear layout i'll create a new image view i'll set its width as uh, uh, let's give this wrap content wrap content no issues i'll just give this a gravity of center so the image always uh, stays to the center of the uh, card view and then i'll just close this tag and i'll give this image view an id i'll call this image view underscore movie underscore poster okay 
okay and then for the uh, text view i'll set it its width to match parent height to wrap content here close this tag i'll give this id of text view underscore movie underscore plot okay and then uh, let's do another thing okay let's uh, just re uh, let's just keep this card view with these two views only and lastly we'll create another card view card view and set its width to match parent height to wrap content again and again i'll add the uh, same margin 8 dp card corner radius 8 dp card elevation 8 dp and card background color to yellow all right now inside this card view we will add our recycler view to show all the data okay so talking about the data let's check our api for the movie details okay so i'll go to our uh, api url or the rapid api link so here at first we integrated the uh, search api so now we're going to use the uh, film api okay so for the film api uh, there is not much change everything is same instead of uh, searching for search slash movie name now we have to write film slash a movie id okay so let's do one thing if we go to our postman as you can see here for the avengers we have this id i'll just copy this id and now we'll just delete these lines and after this i'll write film slash and i'll paste the movie id that we copied from here and i'll click on send and as you can see we have all the details of that movie like the title year released the length of that movie the rating the votes the poster url the plot the trailer video link and also the cast and crew members and also the uh, technical specs of that movie okay so let's try to show that data uh, i have already created the views as you can see uh, for uh, all of the item till this plot uh, and now for the cast as you can see the cast is a list of uh, the actor actor id and character uh, all of them are in an object and we have multiple objects of them in a list okay so we have to show this also in a recycler view so for this i'll go to our android studio and here inside this card view i'll create a new recycler view i'll set this width as match parent height as wrap content here okay i'll close this recycler view tag and I'll give this an id of recycler underscore movie underscore cast okay so now let's do one thing uh, we have to create another uh, custom layout for our this recycler view so i'll go to this layout create a new layout resource file i'll call this as cast underscore list hit enter go to split view and here i'll remove this constraint layout i'll change this to a card view and i'll set its height to wrap content then the card elevation to 8 dp the card background color to color yellow card corner radius to 8 dp and also i'll set a margin of 8 dp so now inside this card view we are going to create a new uh, linear layout linear layout i'll set its width to match parent height to wrap content here and i'll set its uh, orientation to horizontal this time uh, because on one side we'll show all the uh, all the character names and on the other side we'll show the uh, actor names okay okay so keep 
uh, this uh, keep this linear layout as it is then inside this linear layout I'll create a new uh, text view I'll set its width as 0 dp because we're going to use weight here and the height to wrap content let's close this and under this width I'll write our weight is 1 okay so let's give this uh, text view an ID I'll call this as uh, text view underscore actor and then I'll set a dummy text here like RDJ let's set the text color to color black then the text size to let's say 18 SP let's set the uh, text alignment to be center then the text style let's give this as normal then I'll give this a overall padding of 8 dp okay that's it now I'll just copy this text view one more time under this so here we got two of them I'll just uh, change this ID from text view actor to text view character okay let's change this to uh, Iron Man okay all right now we can also add a divider in between so for this I'll just go between these text views and I'll create a new view here I'll set the width as let's say 1 dp and the height as match parent okay and then I'll just set the background to color black okay so as you can see we got a divider here okay all right so let's do another thing let's just copy this layout from here and i'll put this inside uh, this activity details just above this recycler view okay uh, so it just messed up because our card view doesn't uh, support the uh, layout like a linear layout it just uh, sets all the new layouts over uh, one another so for this we have to create a, a linear layout a single linear layout we have to add all of them inside so the linear layout I'll set this to match parent wrap content I'll set its orientation to vertical okay now in inside this linear layout we will put uh, these two items I'll just copy this and paste it here okay so inside this uh, third card view we have this linear layout a common linear layout for uh, all of the items inside this card view and here inside this first one we have the uh, this one the text views and then we have the recycler view now I'll just do one change inside this text view from the uh, text text style I'll change them to bold okay this one also uh, bold and I'll change the text also I'll call this as characters and I'll change this to actors okay I guess that's it um, now let's work on our uh, main uh, sorry details activity dot java here okay so at first now also we have to define all the uh, views that we created in the uh, XML file so for this I'll go here and I'll try to copy all the uh, IDs so let's start from the first card view here so here we got the text view movie title so I'll just copy this I'll create a text view object and paste it here and secondly we have another text view the text view movie uh, released okay oops and the third one was the text view movie runtime maybe yes and 
next to that we had this text view movie rating I'll just copy this and paste it here again and the fifth one was the text view movie votes I'll paste it here okay so these are the text views all right okay so this is for the first card view let's minimize that now for the second one we have an image view here image view movie poster so i'll go to the details activity and here i'll create a new image view i'll call this image view movie poster and then we have another text view text view movie plot i'll just copy this and let's keep it here okay and so our second card view is also done we can minimize that now for the third card view we have we don't have to change anything in this text views okay we can also remove the ids from here that would be better because we are not gonna use them so i'm removing these ids okay we have this recycler view which is the recycler movie cast so we'll copy this and we'll create a new recycler view I'll paste the name here now we have to initialize all of them so I'll start from the text views so copy this text view ID equals find view by ID r dot ID dot uh, this one okay so now I'll just quickly initialize all of these views Alright, so now I have initialized all the views from here. So now I can start on uh, storing the data by calling the API. So we have to manage the API calling again inside our request manager because previously we managed the API calling for the search movies. Now we'll work on uh, work for the uh, search movie details. Okay, so that's also quite simple. I'll just copy this interface one more time copy this and paste it under here this time I'll just name this as get movie details the headers will remain same inside the get instead of search let me zoom in instead of search I'll just pass film and here we have to pass the movie ID so I'll write movie underscore ID okay I'll just copy the same for this path also and I'll change the method name to uh, call movie details okay and for the parameter again I'll pass the uh, movie underscore ID okay so we got a new interface for the um, get movie details so let's minimize this again minimize this also and similarly uh, okay we have some changes here okay it's not done yet uh, for the call we 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 call the search api response before but now our response object is different as you can see from here so we have to create a separate model class for this so let's do that by going to our android studio here inside the models let's create a new java class i'll call this detail api response for the class and inside the detail api response we'll create all the objects that we'll get from the detail api response as you can see here at first we have this id which is a string so i'll just copy this id from here create a new uh, string id okay and then we have this uh, title which is also a string so i'll just copy this and i'll uh, change this to title okay so similarly let me do all of them quickly
all right so now for the tree layer as you can see it's a different type of model or object which contains two objects called id and link and they both are strings so let me create another object for that uh, so here i insert the models i'll create a new java class i'll call this as trailer and inside the trailers we will create this id and link so we'll copy this string id calls trailer for the link okay and i'll also click on generate getter and setter if we need that we can use it later okay i'll close the trailer and here i'll create a new trailer object its name is trailer okay and as you can see here under this trailer we have the uh, object cast which is an array which contains all of these objects and each of the object contains uh, these three objects the actor the actor id and the character let's create a separate model for them so let's go to android studio create a new java class i'll call this cast and insert the cast we will have uh, the actor string actor copy this two more times because we have the actor id as a string and then the character as a string also okay and let's click on generate uh, getter and setter okay we'll mainly need the getter actually we don't need the setter but let's add that okay and here let's create a list of cast because as you can see the cast is a list so i'll write a list of cast and the name of this object is cast okay so under that we have this uh, technical specs which is also a list but of only strings okay that's not any uh, custom model or something so its name is technical specs I'll just copy this list of uh, okay let's see this more closely so technical specs is a list which contains multiple lists of string okay so this is a a list which contains multiple strings okay uh, and the whole uh, and all of these list objects are stored inside this one object which is also a list okay so this is a list of list of strings so let's do that list of uh, list of string and its name is technical specs all right so now let's create a uh, getter and setter for all of these objects so right click here click on generate getter setter select all of them hit enter okay so that's it now let's close this detail api response now and here inside the get movie details instead of uh, the previously added search api response i'll remove this to details uh, sorry detail detail api response okay this one nice now let's uh, copy this search movies method again let's copy this under this method okay and we'll change its name to get uh, search movie details okay and on search api listener it was and we'll create a separate listener for this one now so i'll go to the listeners create a new java class i'll write on details api 
listener okay i'll set this to an interface and hit enter okay so inside this on delay API listener we will similarly create two methods the void on response so uh, for the on response we will uh, pass a object of the detail api response so let like detail api response and call this as response and for the on error we will pass just a string message all right so let's close this and implement this here on details api listener i'll call this listener and this time i'll pass the movie underscore id all right okay and uh, this time okay for the get movies instead of get movies we will write get movie details i'll call this get movie details and retrofit dot create request manager dot get movies dot class no we will write get movie details dot class okay and then for the call instead of search api response we will pass the detail api response okay call will remain as call then i'll call this get movie details and i'll paste it here instead of the get movies and for the method call movies we will write uh, call movie details and here instead of movie name we will pass this movie id okay so make the changes on this part very carefully because if you miss anything you will end up getting errors okay so now we changed until this so after that we will write call dot nq new callback and uh, for the uh, callback we will pass the detail api response again detail api response and here it's showing an error because all of these are in search api response so i'll just copy this detail api response and uh, replace all the search api responses so paste it here paste it here okay and paste it here all right so all the errors are now gone so now here for the call and the response detail api response response is not successful then uh, show a toast message current fetch data return on response response dot body failure okay so it's now good now we can just simply call this search movie details from the main activity to or the uh, details activity to get all the details of the movie so let's go to the details activity okay and now uh, let's uh, create the adapter for our recycler movie cast here so for this i'll again go to the adapters create a new java class i'll call this as cast adapter sorry cast recycler adapter recycler adapter let me zoom in here and similarly uh, similarly like before we will create a new view holder for that also so i'll write a uh, class um cast view holder okay and i'll make this uh extends recycler view dot view holder and i'll create constructor matching super okay so now inside here we have to define all the um view objects that we created in the cast underscore list so here we got uh, two items the text view actor i'll copy this name go to the cast recycle adapter inside this and the text view the text view actor and the second one was the text view character okay copy this go here paste it here okay now uh we will initialize them inside this uh, constructor after the super call so i'll copy this text to vector equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, 
okay it's showing an error because we have to import the class hit alt enter and click on this import class okay and similarly for the image view character we'll do the same oh, sorry text view character not the image view character text view character equals item view dot uh, find view by id r dot id dot the name all right so that's it for the custom or the cast view holder uh, now we'll go inside the cast recycler adapter and here I'll make this extends recycler view dot adapter and here on the anger bracket we have to pass the view holder which is the uh, cast view holder okay and I'll click on this red bulb click on implement methods select all of these three and click on ok and we got all the methods the on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so inside here at first we will create a context object context context then we will create a list of uh, cast we we'll call this as list okay we won't implement any on click listener on them so we are skipping that and then we will create a constructor right click here click on generate click on constructor select this two and click on ok so we got the constructor now instead of returning null on the on create view holder we'll do new cast view holder and here we'll pass the layout inflator dot from context dot inflate r dot layout dot this cast list that we created okay and the second parameter is the parent and false okay now let's go to the on bind view holder so for the on bind view holder we'll write holder dot text view vector dot uh, set text list dot get position dot uh, get actor okay and similarly for the uh, character holder dot text view character dot set text list sorry list dot get from position dot get character all right so that's it and uh, one thing that i uh, forgot previously is that inside our um, home recycler adapter okay home recycler adapter uh, where we uh, set the text view movie name uh, after that we forgot to make this uh, text view set selected so that it automatically scrolls horizontally so we have to do that here otherwise your text view won't uh, scroll horizontally so for this i'll write uh, holder dot uh, text view movie dot set selected true make sure you add that because otherwise your uh, text view on the home screen or the main activity won't scroll horizontally okay all right let's close this so here we have set all the data to the text views now let's go to the get item count and here instead of returning zero we'll return list dot size all right so our adapter is now done we can close that We'll go to our details activity and inside here we'll initialize or uh, create an object of our cast recycler adapter cast recycler adapter i'll call this as adapter again and we'll also create another object for our request manager we'll need that request manager okay and also we'll need a progress dialog i call this dialog again all right so let's initialize our manager class at first so i'll write manager equals new request manager i will pass the context this and then uh, 
at first we'll try to retrieve or receive the data that we passed from the main activity with this tag data okay so i'll go into the details activity here and here at first i'll take a string i'll call this as movie underscore id equals uh, gets uh, get intent dot uh, get string extra and here we have to pass the name of the data that we passed so as you can see we have named it as data i'll just copy this and uh, paste it here inside the parameter of get string extra so that will receive the uh, string data from the intent and will store it inside this movie id let me zoom in more okay so after we get the uh, id we will call the uh, api so one thing you have to make sure is that you have to call the api after you retrieve the data from the intent uh, because if you do the api calling before then uh, your api calling will be failed okay so let's do that here i'll write manager dot uh, search movie details this one and here for the first parameter we have to pass a listener so let's create a listener outside of the on create method as you can see this is the on create method and we are going outside of the on create method so here i'll create a uh, private sorry uh, private on details api listener listener equals new on details api listener and here we got the uh, methods on response and on error here we have to put a semicolon at first and for the on response we'll check if the uh, response dot response dot equals null so if it is null then we will just simply show a toast message with the context details activity dot this and here we will show error and then after this we can write return all right so after this uh, if statement if our response is not null uh, then we will just uh, show the results so for this again i'll call this uh, show results method uh, where i'll pass the response okay and we'll again create this method we'll click on that click on this read bulb create method on the details activity and here is the method automatically created okay so this is for the on response and for the on error we will just simply show a toast message on detail activity dot this and for the text i will pass error ok alright and now uh, for the show results we can populate all the views that we created but before that let's uh, complete this api calling so manager dot search movie details and here at first we pass the listener that we created right here and then we have to pass the movie id so the movie id is here so i write movie id all right and again after calling this uh, api let's do it before calling this api i will call the uh, dialog so dialog equals new progress dialog this okay dialog dot set title please wait and then dialog dot show okay so that will start showing the progress dialog while we uh, open the detail activity and this will dismiss once we get the response so inside this on response we write dialog dot dismiss and we'll do the same on the on error dialog dot dismiss all right uh, so now we can work on the show results okay
so here at first I'll go into this show results and here at first I'll call the uh, text view movie name dot set text and here I'll write uh, response dot get title okay and then I'll write text view dot uh, movie released dot set text and this one write response dot get year sorry get year all right and you can also add a uh, prefix to that like uh, year released and concat that string okay that would look much better on the ui okay and similarly i'll just copy no let's do it by myself so text view movie runtime dot set text and here i'll write length and i'll add response dot uh, get length okay then for the uh, text view movie rating dot set text and here i'll write as rating and i'll add uh, response dot get rating okay and after that i'll call the votes so text view dot movie votes dot set text and i'll add okay let's do it at the end so I'll write response dot uh, get uh, rating votes get rating votes plus space votes okay so after that uh, we'll do another thing we'll just uh, show the plot so text view movie plot dot set text and here we'll just simply add the response dot uh, get plot okay and then we have to show the uh, picasso uh, or show the uh, movie poster uh, to our image view with picasso so for this we can write picasso dot get dot load and here for the image url we will get this from response dot uh, get uh, get get poster okay and then we'll uh, we'll show this uh, image into uh, for this we have to write dot into and we'll write uh, image view movie poster okay so here we found a small bug that sometimes the api sends a empty string or null value for the poster url in that case if we try to show that using picasso it uh, it makes the app crashed so to avoid that we can simply use a try catch block so i'll write try and inside that try method we'll uh, add this picasso dot get load etc and then for the catch block i'll write exception e and here we'll write e dot uh, okay instructors all right so that's it for showing the poster to the image view and after that we have to show the cast okay so let's do that so for this let's work with our recycler view so recycler view movie cast dot set has fixed size to true recycler movie cast dot uh, set layout manager new uh, grid layout manager this and this time we will set the span count to one okay and then we will initialize our adapter that we defined above as you can see this one this cast recycler adapter so here i will write adapter equals new uh, cast recycler adapter for first parameter is the context we'll pass this second parameter is the list of cast so here we'll get the response dot get cast 
Uh, okay. So our adapter is now ready. Now we have to attach this adapter to our recycler view. So write uh, recycler movie cast dot set adapter and here we pass the adapter. Okay. So our coding part is now done. Now we can try to uh, run our app and see how it goes. So let's quickly do that. I'll run here. So our app has been installed. Let's search for the movie again, same Avengers. Click on search icon. And here we got the responses. If we click on the Avengers, and here we got all the results the Avengers ER release 2012 rating 8.0 total votes uh, this card view the second card view looks weird uh, okay let's explore the total okay so everything is fine I just we have to work on this second card view okay so let's go to the activity details here inside the second card view what we got okay here we have this image view gravity center linear layout margin let's add a margin top to this image view so margin top of uh, ADP okay and for the text view let's add some more attributes like the uh, text style to be normal the text alignment to be uh, center the text size to be 18 sp the text color to be color black and then okay let's give this a padding of 8 dp okay now let's run this again search for again the avengers okay all right so now we got the response and as you can see this time it it looks good okay Let's try search something more. Let's search Spider-Man. So here we got all the movies of Spider-Man. Let's try searching uh, Venom. Okay, cool. So our app is now working fine. Uh, now you can add more features to this app like you can also add another recycler view to show the uh, uh, show the technical details like if I show you here on my personal app if we search for the Avengers. Okay here under the cast you can see I have added the technical details in a recycler view so you can also try to add that in a recycler view I haven't included that in this video because that would make this video much more longer so you can try doing it yourself and if you face any issues you can comment down below or you can post on our uh, Facebook group I'll help there and yes that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please give a like to this video and subscribe to my channel because i have more awesome android projects on my channel and i'll be making more and thank you so much for watching